When you're looking to buy a diamond, one of the first tests you're going to want to do is to check the stone is real and natural. Now you can do that in a variety of ways. First thing you can do is weigh the stone and check that the density is what you would expect for that particular carat weight of diamond. You can also check with an electronic diamond tester that the diamond is a natural stone. But if you want to be ultra sure, you're really going to need the diamond sent over to a laboratory where it can be tested in great detail. And that's why we're here at HRD in Antwerp to understand how HRD go about assessing if the diamond is indeed real and completely natural. Well, there are different techniques we are using, but an important uh, instrument we use is, a, is an instrument called uh, Diamond Fuel, which has made, been made by the Bears. Uh, and this is a, a, an instrument that makes visible the growth structure uh, of the diamond, like we have the growth rings in a, in a tree, for instance. Uh, and these uh, growth structures are very much different uh, when you compare uh, natural and synthetic diamonds. Um, you see an example of the growth structure of a natural diamond. Um, in nature, uh, the diamond is, uh, there is a, a continuous growth and dissolution and again growth of the diamond. And because of that, you get a very irregular growth uh, pattern. And this is contrary to what you see in a synthetic diamond, which is growing in a very systematic and continuous way, really. Whilst it's important to know the diamond is natural, it's also important to know that the diamond hasn't been treated in any way in order to enhance the apparent colour or the clarity. For example, the diamond can be heated in order to improve its apparent colour, or it can be drilled with a laser and then backfilled with glass in order to improve the apparent clarity grade. Now to, to check for those things, what you need to do is a technique called spectroscopy. This involves shining a light at the diamond at an atomic level and looking at the interaction between the light and the diamond. And looking for the trace readings can tell you or a trained person exactly what has happened to that stone.